hostess with the most Chernobyl as always welcome back so yes we are doing a review today we are actually doing a movie review from our August's blu-ray 2020 horror pack and that is the shallows obviously you guys knew that because you guys saw the title in the video like whatever but anyway yeah so I I did pop this in a few days ago from from me shooting this and uh I liked it. I really, really did like this. I'm glad that I did not, like, procrastinate on, like, watching this like I normally do. Um, you know, like, and I'm not, like, you guys know I'm not, like, a huge creature feature person, but I liked this one. Um, and I gotta give this one credit, too, because it is one of those movies that obviously pretty much one central location, mainly on one central character almost the entire movie. Uh, there are other movies like this, um, I, Blair Witch in a sense, I guess, you could sort of put it in a group like this, but more so things such as Anne of Green's Frozen, that movie ATM, I know there's like so many of these type of movies where it's just kind of like one sort of, you know, scenario, pretty much in one spot, most of the movie and everything, focusing on one or two characters, uh, very hard to kind of do sometimes. I feel like sometimes if it's not done correctly, it's a little, doesn't really hold your attention or anything. For example, like, I, like, I like Adam Green's Frozen, but honestly, uh, I mean, it, I think it's okay. I'm much more of a fan of something like ATM, so I don't know. And I know a lot of people don't like the movie ATM for obvious reasons. I get it. I understand the gripes about it, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But yeah, this is a fun one. I liked it. Uh, definitely, I was getting very much into it where I'm like, I'm like, I was like, mm, okay, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? A uh, couple red herrings here and there and everything. Nothing obnoxious with like the red herrings, uh, you know, because I feel like sometimes it's like jump scares where it's like it's just too relied on. I liked this though in here where you know a couple of those like fake outs and everything. I liked it. Like I said, kept me on the edge of my seat. Um, and I liked that with the beginning of this movie, it opens up kind of showing, like, the aftermath of everything, and then it cuts into with, like, Blake Lively's character and everything, she's still going on vacation, looking for places to surf and everything, comes across some guys, they have fun, hang out, or surfing, they leave, she's kind of staying behind just to do a little more, and then we kind of see this movie unfolding, and everything so yeah it was I, I liked it I really kind of liked it um you know I, I and a lot of you guys were really uh praising this one a lot too I know I was a little bit like I don't know I don't know I uh, even some of you guys were very kind of open up like I was a little like iffy on it but kind of won me over um is it better than something like Jaws no it's not um yeah I mean it's a fun one you guys i uh, glad I, I checked it out uh, beautifully shot, too. They, this had some really great shots, honestly. Uh, and I liked that, you know, Blake Lively in this movie, her character, uh, you know, was smart and resourceful. Like, she had gotten bitten by the shark at one point, and she, you know, did what everything that she could. She used her resources. Like, she, I know, uh, used part of her, um... I think strapped to her board to kind of, you know, cut off some of the circulation to stop some of the bleeding. And then she took her, uh, one of her uh, sleeves from her wetsuit and put it over to kind of protect it, give it more compression and everything. Even to uh, seeing uh, like this bird that was kind of like on this rock with her, couldn't move, couldn't fly because its wing was broken. She ended up kind of like comforting enough to get it to be comfortable with her and kind of fixes its wing and everything so it can be free and everything so little things like that that you can kind of that adds to character development in subtle ways of like okay this is genuinely a good person she doesn't just think about herself she's resourceful and whatnot and you really kind of want to see her survive this attack the situation and everything so yeah I just I thought it was really well done I liked it I liked it. So, uh, but let me know, you guys. I know, like I said, a lot of you guys have already kind of let me know your thoughts on this movie and everything. We're really recommending it. Let me know further thoughts on this movie and stuff. Maybe some positives, some negatives, whatnot. Uh, but yeah, 
Till next time, you guys, as always, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.